All right. Great win for our guys and our program. You know, I was really proud of our guys. We've been talking a lot about the things that we can control are the most important things and how we respond to events is really important. And that's really what we challenged the guys to do at halftime. You know, we did not play well the first half. We just came out and really responded. I, I thought our offensive line really took control of the game and we held the ball and controlled it and scored. And, and then, you know, your defense isn't on the field, so they're well rested, but we disrupted the quarterback and it really came down to our first down defense. They were second and long and then we could respond and get after the quarterback, but, you know, we get it down in there and CJ hits a big kick and our defense was able to get a couple sacks by Craig here and, and end the game with them trying to, 60 yarder and just a great win and a gutsy performance by a lot of guys in our locker room. Questions for the players? Chris, what was the defense only gave up 34 yards in the entire second half? Just what was the big difference from the first to the second half, would you say? That's for you. Um, I would say we just kept it together as a team. You know, we stuck to the game plan. First half, we came out slow. Second half, we knew we had to be a great team, you know. We got to achieve greatness and just keep playing our hearts out, and I think that's what we did as a team. Hey, what are you thinking when they scored 21 points pretty quick in the game? Like, what is uh, the defense talking about? What are you thinking? You know, I mean, it's hard. Like, they put up 21 points, but hey, we're still a team. We got to stick together and keep playing together. We got to have each other's back the whole time, and no matter what happens, we got each other. So it's a great team effort. Yeah, maybe CJ, can you run us through what uh, what's going through your head at halftime when that uh, score is what it is? I mean, you know, it's easy to get down on the team, but when you get to the locker room, you can tell the energy is still high. Players are still motivated. They know we're still in it. The Alaris magic is real, and. They chip, chip, chipping away, chipping back. Defense played outstanding in the second half, and offense, Simon, everybody, you know, they kept believing, and you could see slowly and steady, like, we're back in it. And, yeah, it's just a great team win. I'm really proud of everyone. Uh, run me through kind of what's going through your head as you set up for um, your late field goal. Uh, what did you think in the lead up, and then, you know, what's going through your head as, as that goes through? Yeah, so I mean, I knew it, there's a really good chance I could go to a field goal, and our offense was rolling. They put me in a great spot. The coaches trusted me to go out there and do my job. Uh, great snap by David, great hold by Simon. The whole line was blocking great. So, you know, I had to make it, and uh, everyone trusted me. I was, it was a really, really cool moment, so I was really uh, proud of the whole team. Coach, just how do you, uh, what would you say the game that Simon had there? Yeah, I just love that guy. He's competitive. I mean, some of those runs were really tough. His touchdown run, bad snap, and he takes it up, up the middle, ends up in the end zone, and, you know, just really played well. And, uh, you know, he'll keep getting better. This is his second start, and, you know, this team gave a lot of different looks. So there's a lot on the quarterback. That's... Uh, it's not an easy position to play, so he'll keep getting better and better, but he's just so gritty and tough. You know, the, the guys will really rally around him, and, you know, he, he just made several plays again in the second half that really helped our football team move the chains and, and scored some points. Was there a big motivational speech at halftime, or what did you say to your guys to get them to kind of flip that switch? Nah, there's, there's not much to say. How are you going to respond? That's what really we said. You know, we... We put ourselves in a tough spot. We knew we were going to get the ball. So we really put it on our kickoff return team to take care of the ball and get us a good field position, get started, and go down and score. And once you score, you get some momentum. So uh, really not much to talk about other than, hey, we got to really be focused here. And how we respond is really important. That. Uh, was there a point during the, the comeback where when you thought, okay, like this might actually happen now, where when you looked up at the scoreboard and thought that this is uh, happening? 
You know, I had belief the whole time. I won't say there was a certain point. Like, our team played great. We played great complimentary football the second half, you know. When you do that, you always got a chance to win. So I won't say there was a certain point. You always had hope for it, so. Players are good to go. We'll continue with questions for Coach. Coach, at halftime, you know, the passing game was struggling. Um, did you entertain the idea of making a change at quarterback, or um, were you convinced to, to stick with Simon the whole way? Never entered our mind. It was not even part of our thought process. we got to let guys grow and give guys opportunities to grow and see how they respond. You know, a lot of times there were some – plays out there tonight, it wasn't always on the quarterback. Somebody maybe ran a wrong route. Somebody didn't pick up the right guy and he got pressure. So the passing game, everybody's involved with it. I know the quarterback's responsible for a lot, but everybody's involved with it. Um, what, what did you think of your, your defense, um, the amount of negative plays you were able to, to generate in this one and um, just getting after the quarterback? Yeah, it was all first down once we stopped the run, you know, and it was explosive plays. You know, the, the first touchdown, explosive play. Guy gets out of the pocket. We miss a sack. A guy gets out of the pocket, throws it. We miss a tackle, and they're in the end zone. And then we just fit, misfit a run for their second touchdown. So it puts you on your heels and gives them confidence. And, you know, once we could stop them on first down and the downs were in our favor. We could get after the quarterback. And we weren't really, you know, the big fourth down stop gave us a big boost. I thought that was one where great call by Joel and gave us a really big boost there and, and gave our guys some confidence. But it was all first down, you know, to get them in second and long and third and long, and that sure changed the game. You know, CJ even dropped a line about Alara Center magic. We've heard that over the years. Does that uh, – does – Guys in the program seeing that, just kind of pass it down, like does that help establish that belief when yeah. you're down a certain amount? Yeah, there's no question it helps. The crowd helped tonight. It was an awesome atmosphere. Our guys, you know, first half, we couldn't get the crowd in the game. you got to play well. We always tell our guys, you got to make plays so the crowd gets excited. And, you know, but there is something about it. We just have a belief that we're going to win. Dale Lennon was here again last night, if anybody wants to know, and he talked about that Alaire Center magic. And our guys believed him. I'm glad they did. You said you thought your offensive line took control of the game in the second half. How were they able to do that? Well, just play together and, you know, we stuck with the run. We really, you know, we made some key pass plays there when we hit some short routes and got first downs. And But we we really challenged them. We needed to run the football and control the ball. And and they did a really good job. They, we didn't have any hardly any negative plays the second half. And we kept it the whole time. I think... It, we were on the field nine defensive plays until that two-minute drill by them at the end of the game. I mean, nine plays. So your defense looks pretty good when they're over on the sideline watching the offense. Um, did, did you talk about getting Simon more involved in the run game? I, I don't think he had a carry in the first half, and then that, that just kind of changed the complexion of your offense in the second half when he added that element. Yeah, you know, we were looking for ways to gain an advantage, and when you run the quarterback, now they got to account for it, and, uh, you know, and – he really ran the ball well. I thought, you know, our backs made some good runs too, but when you add the quarterback to the mix, that's an extra guy they got to defend now.